Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Pat Patty here. Today I'm going to be making a video on how to install and also remove UDID activation on the iOS 5 Beta 3. So as you can see, uh, I just restored it to iOS 5 Beta 3 and it says right there we are unable to complete your activation. And also, uh, if I go to my iPod and I click on this, it would show cannot activate iPod Touch or iPad or iPhone, whichever device you would have. So, um, we're going to jailbreak it using the old version of Redstone, so we're going to put eight. We're going to use that same right now. Still need iOS 5 beta 1 for more. Also, iOS 5 beta 3 for more. Sorry, guys. There we go, beta 1 right there. That's the beta 1 for more. Click open. Let's go process the firmware. This might take a little while for my computer. If you have a faster computer, then this shouldn't take this long. But it's just my computer, unfortunately. You're kicking ass with everything. And I'm I'm good. Okay, so I am in my and uh, you want to make sure install state is checked. Click on next. And we're going to turn off our device. In my case, it's an Apple Touch 4G. Side to power off. It's going to load. So I just did the jailbreak part. So as you can see, I already did the jailbreak steps. So it's now it's moving applications. Let's get to installing bundles and then rebooting. I'm just uh go back into retina so that I can um get ready to rejailbreak after after we remove the UDID activation. Oh yeah guys, I don't know if you guys have noticed but I got Windows 7 back on the mark. Hey sir one D fifty. Um just because that uh Things that want to work in OS X, which is uh, most likely going to be found. Uh, it's my control cam. And uh, also my internal microphone and webcam are going to work in. As well as uh, in Windows 7, I can actually get a higher resolution instead of 1024 by 600 so that I can actually have um, uh, 1152 by 864 resolution, I believe. Oh, I'm not 
not sure. Uh, it's going to show me. So we're going to prepare to just be tether right now. Um, also, if you're a uh, Mac user, you want to download uh, Apple Explorer so you can remove UDID activation. And also, uh, if you don't have a Mac, then use iPhone Box. So it is booted up. It shows the iPod slide to sell screen again. If we try to set it up, it won't let me because uh, we need to uh, remove the UDID activation. Red symbol does not remove the UDID activation because they want people to actually be a developer to use it. So, in our phone box. Select this iPod and the device right here. Can we expand it? Or if we just go here, go file system, we go to system, library, and uh, core services. And system version of plist. Now, um, if you're on Windows, then uh, what? Why? Oh, I was about to say why did you just close? Um, on the Mac, it will automatically show the line. Um, this I'm not sure. Click the program from list of installed programs. If it was on Mac, then you could either use um, text editor or property list editor. But that isn't for my case. It's on back on Windows. And also another reason I, I'm on Windows is because uh, so I could have the GMA booster because GMA booster wasn't working in uh, Mac OS X no record. As you can see, um, right here, it's deleted. Keep on going. And a real. Now click File, Save. And close that out. Go back to add one box. Here is this one in here. And when it's copied, and there we go. Now it is copied. Let's just close that out. We're going to select just the tether right now. Click on next. And we turn off our device. Now unfortunately, this does not work yet for iPad 2 users. Because um there is no exploit for uh iOS 5 um, for the iPad 2. And the uh, PDF exploit does not work in iOS 5. Mm -hmm. Plus, the PDF exploit is uh, untethered jailbreak and not a tethered jailbreak. And it's so weird that, uh, mm -hmm. I think I may have messed this up. Okay guys, I'm back. And uh, I've got, I can just reboot it, and it'll work, um, that's what I did here. If you try to open up Cydia, it will just crash, so that's why you need to uh, rerun the jailbreak as header mode. So let me turn off our, my iPod again. 
wait for it to fully turn on. Okay guys, finally got it working. So it's uploading the kernel right now. And I can see on my iPod it has a little pineapple. So that is a good sign. Uh not this one. Well, he's pausing and coming back. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.